Hi everyone, today I want to share with you how I created my vintage tapes. Um, in my latest video I showed you the spread that I created for Cindy's journal and Patricia requested me to do a tutorial on these vintage tapes so thank you so much for the request Patricia and for leaving such a sweet comment on my latest video. I will post the link to Patricia's channel in the description box below and I hope you will show her some love. Um, yeah, for this tape I was inspired by Carmen. She's Carmen van Lopven here on YouTube and she shared in our group that she was creating some vintage tape and I believe she used some uh, alcohol ink for that, the caramel color, uh, but I didn't have this on hand when I was creating my spread. I purchased this one later. So I thought maybe I can use my alcohol markers to create some vintage tape as well and it worked out so I really wanted to share this with you. Um, the markers that I'm using are from this pack, it's by Deco Time and I purchased this at a local store but you can use any kind of alcohol based uh, markers for this. So the ones that I used are these colors right here, let me put them a little bit closer yellow ochre, walnut and brown and I do have an example right here oops I hope it, yeah it does, it focuses uh, this is the walnut color, it's a little bit dark brown color uh, this is the brown and the yellow ochre has a touch of yellow in it so I have my craft mat ready um, normally I use the brown uh, craft mat to do my inking but I thought this one would show the colors better so uh, I'm also using some tape and what I like to do first is I take some pieces of the tape and I really like the fact that this gives some uh, ridges, ridges, rigid <laughs> edges, I'm sorry, <laughs> already so I just adhere some pieces of the tape on my craft mat and I'm going to use the three different colors that I showed you. Um, the first one that I'm using is the walnut brown and you can use your Copic uh, markers for this one or for doing this as well and I'm just coloring the tape and I like to use the brush uh, point for this and then I'm going to fade it a little bit with my finger and then I leave it to dry and the next color that I'm using is this brown one and again I'm using the brush tip for this I'm just coloring it and smudging it a little bit with my finger and it dries really quickly and for the last color I'm using this yellow ochre and you can use any kind of colors I like to use the brown or yellowy tones but you can make this tape in any color you'd like so, and sometimes I do use my heat tool to dry it a little bit more, but it's really fast. So now I'm going to adhere them to my paper so you can see the result. And I smudged this one a little bit more than I did it the first time. This is the brown one. And the yellow ochre one. And I really love this result and I really love to use them in my journals as well. So this is how I created my tapes. I hope this was helpful and uh, yeah, I hope you will try it out 
as well. Uh, most of us do already have the alcohol-based markers, and we all uh, we all have some paper and some tape in our household. So this is quite uh, an inexpensive way to create these kind of tapes. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are all having a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.